Hi, this is Chris Young, and welcome to Good News on Tap for the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. We're going to continue this week with the sports metaphors that we used last week when we said we're part of Team Jesus. What kind of leader does our team have, and what's expected of us as teammates? Well, leaders come in a lot of different styles. Sometimes when we want to know what kind of leader we have, we compare them to previous famous leaders. In the world of politics, a progressive or a, a liberal candidate might describe themselves as a, a Kennedy Democrat or a Carter Democrat. On the conservative side, the gold standard is, of course, Ronald Reagan, and before him, perhaps Barry Goldwater. By associating yourself with a role model from the past, it tells us what kind of person you are. Now, throughout Matthew's entire Gospel, He's writing mostly for a Jewish audience. So he portrays Jesus as a new kind of Moses, since Moses is the most important leader in Jewish history. Moses went up Mount Sinai and brought down the Ten Commandments. So the parallel that Matthew is emphasizing this week is Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Jesus went up a mountain and brought down to the people his vision of how they are to live. That vision is in the Beatitudes, which we have in today's Gospel reading. So while there are similarities to Moses, there are also stark differences. Moses brought down from the mountain what are mostly prohibitions, or negative statements. You shall not this, and you shall not that. Instead, Jesus gives us positive reinforcements for good behavior. It's the difference between a coach who screams and yells at you and makes you run laps, or a coach who can just look at you and motivate you with that look of disappointment when you mess up. Jesus is a coach who motivates us with praise. He says, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are the meek, and so on. He's saying that you will receive blessings when you do those things, when you are that kind of person. A blessing is a sign of God's approval for the way you behave. Over the next few weeks, we'll see more ways in which Jesus is a leader like Moses, but one who goes beyond Moses and calls us to even higher standards. But he calls us to those standards out of love and not out of fear of punishment. The overall theme this week seems to be emphasizing the virtue of humility. The first reading promises rewards to the humble of the earth who stay steadfast in their love of God, and who seek truth and justice. Both the Gospel and the Psalm this week praise the poor in spirit and promise them relief. And in the second reading, Paul is reminding us that most of us were not born wise or powerful or of noble birth, but God chose us to be an example to the strong and the powerful, that it is the humble people who will inherit the kingdom. Now, there's still plenty of room for team pride, but that pride cannot be pride on ourselves. Paul says, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. So this is the kind of coach we have on Team Jesus, one who leads by positive reinforcement, one who expects us to do our job and not brag about it, no excessive celebration penalties allowed on this team. Simply be the person that we're called to be and let our actions speak for themselves. And if we do that, blessings will pour down upon us. And that's Good News on Tap for the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time.